Hi everybody. Um, I'm gonna do a compression test up here on the slide that runs down the southeast base of North Twin. I'm at 4,100 feet. It's uh, just after noon. The slide runs another 700 feet vertical or so. I don't think I'm gonna go up that high. Um, I wanna show you around first. That is, this is the throat of the slide looking up. Um, it's doable, but energy budget wise, I'm solo, so I'm kind of like really superstitious about um, <laughs> I don't have the balls to go up to the top of that thing and ski it. Let's put it that way. I don't think it's any harder than what I'm looking at. Um, or what you're now looking at too. This is what I came up. Um, it's probably going to go more into the shade, which is fine by me. I don't need any more solar gain on the snow because it starts behaving weird. You can see it's a bunch of little rollers, but that's just for me. There are some uh, naturals, but they're tiny little guys, like really tiny. Um, that's uh, across the drainage, very pretty. And then behind in the clouds is probably uh, Zealand Mountain. Um, I'd have to check the topo to be sure. So let's do this, do this compression test, and then I'm going to have lunch, which I'm going to be really psyched about. All right. Um, I'm going to pretend you can see. I can't really tell. Probably you can. Okay, so let's give this guy a start. Set our shovel up on it, cleaned up around it, isolated the column. First we're going to do from the wrist. I'm going to do 10. Not too much happening. Let's do it from the elbow. I don't see anything. Let's try it from the shoulder. Well, you can see at around six or seven that slid. And actually the one before it that I just did also slid at that same interface. So this is not the most recent rain event. This is two rain events back. Is there's a uh, there's a melt freeze layer here, and it's very stiff. And in fact, the rest of this whole um, part of the snowpack is very, very stiff. So what happens is this whole thing is potentially unstable here, but when you've got something that's withstanding like six or seven uh, from the shoulder, uh, it's not a cause for, it, it's a, it's certainly a yellow light, but it's not a cause for, um, it's not a red light. So that's it. I mean, we could try to get this guy to go, this bad boy, but my experience says he won't go. Yeah, he's welded to the rock. It's, it's, it's rock down there. Right, right down on the ice. So that's a really good sign. We're not worried about the interface between the rock and the snow, especially because, uh, there's about one billion tons of snow over me right now. And the whole reason I'm up this high anyway and doing this right here is because my sense of the snow coming up and from watching the forecasts is that it's generally stable. It was rain soaked and frozen, so it's sort of been frozen in place. That's it. Um, I'm going to have lunch and I'm going to ski down from here and dream about skiing the rest of this sometime. Bye. I should say one more thing here. This slope here is like this slope right there. It's like just in the low 30s. And then it climbs up and you can see it's got some like 40-ish action up there. So all in all, I think this thing is like, I don't know, 35. It's pretty reasonable. But of course, it's smack dab in the middle of the um, danger zone in terms of slope angles for uh, avalanche. So it's uh, a good reason to be very careful. Anyway, it's very pretty.